Have you ever wondered why your hand doesn't pass through your desk? It's a question that may seem odd, almost nonsensical at first. But in the bewildering realm of the quantum world, it's a question that holds profound significance. This subatomic universe, the quantum world, is a place where the rules of classical physics, the laws we all learned in high school, no longer apply. Here, particles can exist in two places at once, tunnel through solid walls and even influence each other across vast distances. It's a world that seems more akin to science fiction than reality, but it's real, and it shapes the universe around you in ways you might never have imagined. One of these ways is through a fascinating phenomenon known as electron distancing. To understand this concept, we have to delve a little deeper into the fabric of matter itself. Everything around you, from the air you breathe to the chair you're sitting on, is made up of atoms. And these atoms are composed of protons, neutrons and electrons. Now electrons, being negatively charged, have a natural tendency to repel each other. This is due to the fundamental principle that like charges repel. When you place your hand on a desk, the electrons in the atoms of your hand are repelling the electrons in the atoms of the desk. This repulsion creates a kind of invisible barrier that prevents your hand from passing through the desk. This might sound strange, especially considering that atoms are mostly empty space. You might think that your hand should easily pass through the desk, but it's precisely because of electron distancing that you can't. The repelling force of the electrons is so strong that it can overcome the vast emptiness of the atoms and create the solid world we see and touch. And so what seems like a simple, even mundane action, placing your hand on a desk, is actually a complex dance of subatomic particles governed by the mysterious laws of the quantum world. Electron distancing, an invisible force that shapes our reality. But what exactly are electrons and why do they behave this way? Let's take a closer look. Electrons are subatomic particles, the smallest of the small, but they play a crucial role in the universe's makeup. They carry a negative charge, a kind of invisible force that influences how they interact with their surroundings. Imagine an atom. Picture its nucleus, a dense core of protons and neutrons. Now orbiting this nucleus, picture a swirling cloud-like formation. This is where our electrons reside. Unlike planets in a solar system, electrons don't follow a set path around the nucleus. Instead, they exist within this electron cloud. Their exact locations at any given moment a game of probability. Now you might be thinking, with all these electrons zipping about, surely they'd bump into each other from time to time. Oddly enough, they don't. This is where the Pauli exclusion principle comes into play. Named after the physicist Wolfgang Pauli, this principle is a fundamental law of quantum mechanics. It states that no two electrons in the same atom can have identical quantum states. In simpler terms, no two electrons can occupy the same place at the same time. This principle is a bit like a cosmic rule of social distancing, ensuring each electron has its own unique place within the atom. This isn't due to any physical barrier, but rather a quirk of quantum mechanics, the branch of physics that governs the behavior of subatomic particles. Because of the Pauli exclusion principle, electrons repel each other when they get too close, maintaining a safe distance. This creates an illusion of solidity in the materials around us. When you touch a table, for instance, you're not really touching it. Instead, the electrons in your hand are interacting with the electrons in the table, creating a repulsive force that gives the sensation of touch. This principle is the reason electrons never touch each other and why we perceive solid matter. So the next time you sit down at a table, remember, you're not really sitting on it, you're hovering above it separated by a microscopic gap of repelling electrons. The real question is, what happens when electrons get too close? In the world of quantum physics, we find something called the electromagnetic force. This force is an invisible interaction that occurs between charged particles such as electrons. It's the reason why, as we push our hands together, they never actually touch. The sensation we perceive as touch is actually the result of the electromagnetic force repelling the electrons in our hands. Now you might be wondering, how does this force manage to keep these electrons apart? Well, it's all about the balance of power. The electromagnetic force is incredibly strong. In fact, it's about a thousand trillion 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 times stronger than gravity. Yes, you heard that right. This force is what keeps electrons in their orbits tirelessly spinning around the nucleus of an atom, never quite touching their neighboring electrons. 
This force of repulsion between electrons is not just a simple push away, but rather a complex dance that maintains the structure of matter itself. It's a delicate balance of attraction and repulsion, a cosmic tug of war, if you will. It's this balance that ensures the stability of atoms and consequently everything we know as matter. When electrons get too close to each other, this force of repulsion increases exponentially. This is due to the unique properties of electrons. Electrons carry a negative charge, and as you may remember from your early science classes, like charges, repel. So the closer these negatively charged electrons get to one another, the stronger the repulsive force between them becomes. Now think about that for a moment. Every solid object you see, every surface you touch, is essentially a cloud of repelling electrons. This unseen force is the reason why you can sit in a chair without falling through, why buildings stand, and why planets don't collapse into themselves. The repulsion between electrons is what gives matter its structure. So the next time you feel the solidness of the world around you, remember, it's all thanks to the power of repulsion. You might be wondering, what does electron distancing mean for us? Well, the truth is, it has profound implications that reach far beyond the invisible quantum realm. This phenomenon of electron distancing is responsible for the very properties of matter that we experience daily. That's right, the hardness of the chair you're sitting on, the volume of the cup of coffee you're sipping, all of these attributes are rooted in electron distancing. Let's break it down a little more. Electrons, as we know, never touch each other. They maintain a respectful distance, a behavior that's largely due to their negative charge. Now, when these electrons inhabit the outer shells of atoms, they form a sort of protective shield. This shield is what prevents atoms from merging into one another. When you sit on a chair, for example, it's not that your atoms are resting on the chair's atoms. Instead, the electrons in your body are repelling the electrons in the chair, creating a sensation of solidity. This principle also applies to volume. The space that an object occupies, its volume is primarily due to the electron clouds surrounding its atoms. These clouds constantly buzzing and moving create a boundary that defines the object's volume. Understanding electron distancing is crucial in fields like chemistry and material science. In chemistry, it helps us predict how different atoms will interact and form bonds. In material science, it guides us in manipulating the properties of materials. Want to make a metal stronger? Adjust the electron configuration? Need a more efficient semiconductor? Tweak the electron behavior? So, you see, electron distancing is not just a quirky characteristic of the quantum world. It's a fundamental concept that shapes our macroscopic reality, influencing everything from the hardness of a diamond to the volume of a gas balloon. Electron distancing, a fundamental concept that underpins our understanding of the physical world. So we've learned that electrons never touch each other due to their negative charge and the principles of quantum mechanics. This fascinating phenomenon known as electron distancing has profound implications for our understanding of the physical world. To recap, we started our journey in the realm of the quantum world, where the unusual behaviors of electrons first come to light. We then delved into the nature of electrons themselves, these tiny negatively charged particles that repel each other with an impressive force. Following this, we explored the power of repulsion, a force so strong that it keeps our world intact and prevents us from falling through the floor. 